Hey guys, so it's another wet and rainy day in the garden. We've had on and off rain, so I figured it'd be a good time to come out here. Got some cardboard laid down so we can finish out this pathway and maybe work on cleaning this shade garden, finishing the pathway within that, and have some plants over there that I might get in the ground today. So let's go ahead and get started. So now that the path is complete, I'm going to turn our attention to this shade garden. I do have some hostas that are popping up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this raked out, maybe plant a couple more hellebores and that beautiful hosta right here. Have some corbels that could be used for a little bit of cleaning up. Another hosta right here poking through so we're just gonna go ahead and clean this up
So I pretty much have this garden all cleaned up. I cut back some of the hellebores, um, the corbels, but I do need to take off a few dead branches on this viburnum that I transplanted last year. Looks like half of it didn't make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the dead limbs off. So this branch right here is dead, so I'm going to cut that. This one. This one's dead as well. This one is dead. So I'm literally shaking right now. I heard a noise and the tree came down. This is the second tree since I've been out here, well, within probably about 10 minute span that has fallen from back here. Um, there was one that was, a, it was half dead. It was like a big trunk that fell and then this one just fell. Thankfully it missed this bench. And I screwed up the footage because I heard it and I picked up the camera and some way or another I stopped the recording so I only got a few seconds of it falling but I am super glad that it missed this bench. It did get the hydrangea. So I'm gonna have to clean this up as well. And I'm done trimming this and it does not look like much at all because a lot of it, probably about half of it was dead. But these do grow really fast, so I know this will bounce back. And this year I will get some blooms on it because there's a few buds up top. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and finish this pathway. I wanted to do something, I guess I would say like whimsical for this area. So I have been slicing some wood for the pathway these right here which I guess is kind of good that that tree fell because one it was half dead not all of it is dead but I can use this as well to if I don't have enough and for another area of the garden so I probably will slice that up but back to the project at hand and maybe I will work on cutting this off of this flower bed because this I haven't got a chance to clean this out either. But I am super happy that it missed this bench. So let's finish this pathway real quick. <sighs> so the idea behind the pathway, I'm just going to bury these little logs into the mulch like that. Can't believe I screwed that footage up. Can't believe it. But what can you do? So I'm just going to place these logs into the mulch like so. Keep going till I finish the whole path.
I'm gonna probably have to add more mulch. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm still bummed I lost that footage. But the pathway is complete. I will add another top layer of mulch to get these really snug in there. And um, at some point, they might have to be removed when we put in our arbor. It's gonna kind of be like a tunnel and we're gonna grow vines on top. I did add my little bunny that's covered in moss down here. I'm going to add some hellebores and more hostas at a later date because I really want to get to taking the limbs off of this tree to get it away from my hydrangeas. So let's go ahead and get started on that.
so there hasn't been any real damage done. I do have a couple branches broken off of the butterfly bushes. That hibiscus needed a cut back anyways, and the hydrangea seems fine. So thank you guys for joining me on this video. I hope to see you guys again in the next one. Thanks. Bye.